Hello everyone and welcome to the ACS lesson Hello World. So the first thing I'll do is draw a sector here 640 by 640 and I'll just draw a line down the middle just to have two sectors so we can go in game and I'll add a player start alright so now we're ready for some scripting so we'll go up to view go to script editor or you can push F10 and the first thing we need to do is include the definition file for the scripts. So I'll go and do a number sign and go include. And then to quotation marks, Z common dot ACS. All right, and that's going to be have to be at the top of every script file that you make for uh, ACS. So now I want to go ahead and start doing a script. So we'll go script one and I want it to trigger when the map opens so I'll just type open alright go to the next line we'll do an open bracket and close bracket alright and in the middle of those what I want to do is print out hello world on the screen so I'll do the print and open parentheses and I need to decide what kind of type I want to do whether it be a number or a letter or a decimal so I want to go ahead and do a number or I'm sorry I, uh, some words string so I'll do S, do a colon, and then I'll do two quotation marks, close the parentheses, and do a semicolon. That semicolon is basically a terminator. It's going to have to be at the end of most lines. Um, <clears throat> and right now it's printing out nothing. So if I want to print out hello world, I'll just type in here, hello world. And All right. So now I need to go ahead and compile the script, so I'll click the compile script button up here. And you can see down here it says that script's compiled with no without errors, so it's good to go. We'll close that. And we'll go ahead and run a test. Alright, so here we are in game. And I kind of paused it at the beginning so you can see the message. So this is a message, hello world. Notice after a second it disappeared. So the message only stays on for one second. So, if we say we wanted to have that actually last longer, well, we can go back and make it do that. So, let's go back into the editor. Alright, so we'll head back into our script here. we go to view, script editor. Alright, so the print function only displays for one second. So, what we'll do here is we'll create a while loop. And we're just going to do, usually we can evaluate expressions with this, and while the expression is true, this will happen. But say I wanted to do infinite, an infinite loop, I'll just do true. And then uh, open parenthesis, or not open parenthesis, I'm sorry, open bracket, close bracket. And I'm going to select this and just cut it out and paste it right here. So that'll make it loop. There's only one problem. There's no delay in this at all. So basically it'll loop so fast that it'll create an error, which is basically called an infinite loop, and you don't want that to happen. So what we got to do is create another line here, and we're going to do a delay. And we're only going to delay for one tick. Just something to show that it's not an infinite loop, and it has a, a second to think. So with that, we'll go ahead and compile script. All right, and close that out. And we'll go ahead and jump into the, uh, go ahead and test it again. Okay, so here we are in game, and you can see that that hello world is on the screen. And instead of disappearing after one second, it pretty much just stays there the whole time now. And no matter what happens, it'll stay there because we, that's what we've pro, that's what we've uh, scripted in to happen. So basically, one of the, so something you'll notice with it is it's right in the middle of the screen. Notice that print function only had one thing we could pass to it, and that's whatever we wanted to print on the screen. It doesn't have a location or anything else. So in order to do that, we'll have to do mess with something called HUD message. So we'll go ahead and look, go back and look at that now. All right, so now we're going to set it up to use HUD messages instead of just doing print so we can have more options. So we're going to view, we'll go to script editor. I'm going to leave the print in there for now. Hit enter. I'm going to do HUD message. Open parentheses. And we're going to keep, we're going to, this part's going to be the same. So we'll just copy this and paste it down and we're going to close that off by using a semicolon we're going to type HUD MSG underscore plane and that's just basically a plain message um, now we're going to do set an ID for it and that 
pretty much has to deal with multiple texts on the screen using the same ID, and they uh, will have different features. So we'll put a comma there, and the next thing we're going to do is define what color we want it. We'll just do CR underscore red. We could have done you know CR underscore yellow or CR underscore green, at, at just whatever color you want. We'll just use red for now. Under, and we're going to use a comma there. And the next thing we're going to do is set the X location on the screen, which is 0 0.5, because these locations come in between 0 being on the left side of the screen and 1 being on the right side of the screen. So we want it in the middle, so we'll do a 0 0.5. Same thing for Y. 0, 0.0 is the top of the screen. 0. Point, or, uh, 1, sorry. 1 is the bottom of the screen, so we'll do a 0 0.5 on that as well. And then the last thing we're going to do is a hold time. Um, we can do a 0, 0.0 to actually be whole uh, on the screen at all times. Now, if I had a variable here and it was something I wanted to add to or was minus from, and I had this at 0, 0.0, I wouldn't see it update. And also, we're in a while loop, so this is going to constantly be repeating and constantly showing. So if I can, I can actually do a 0 0.1 up here. And like I said, because we're in a while loop, it'll keep repeating, it'll keep showing. And if we had a variable here, because this keeps repeating, um, any updates to the variables would automatically be seen on screen. So unless I actually have a reason to use 0, 0.0, most of the time I use the 0 0.1 in a while loop if I want to keep a uh, message on the screen, unless I know it's not going to change. So, all right, I'll close that parenthesis and do a semicolon. All right, now we don't need this print anymore, so we'll remove that. Okay, and get rid of that space, and we'll go ahead and compile a script. And script compile without errors, so we'll close that, and we'll go in and test it again. So right away you can see a difference because the uh, text is actually red instead of yellow, like it was a print. So that pretty much uh, will cover the HUD message. You can do all sorts of things. You just um, you can look it up in the ZDM wiki to see all the different type of things you can do with HUD message. And uh, remember how we actually set the location. So it's set to the middle right now. We could set it anywhere on the screen that we want using those values. So with that, we'll jump back to the editor. Okay. So for one last thing, we'll go ahead and go back into the script editor here. And real quick thing we can I can show you here is uh, we'll actually add a comment in here, and these are basically lines that won't be read by the thing the uh, compiler, but you can still add them in for your own uh, notes. So, so I'll put uh, this is where I write my message. So there we go, and it's just a. Uh, simple comment there. I can actually add a multi-line comment as well up here at the top. If I do a slash star and then do a couple lines and do a star slash um, and I can say uh, this is my overly complicated script. Uh, Alright, that's good. So, and if I compile this you can see it won't give me an error. So with that, that pretty much will wrap up this lesson. Thank you for watching.